everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how I currently have uh, my Intuos 5 Small set up with Sculptress. Uh, I just got it a couple of weeks ago, and I'm sure that my setup's going to change from time to time as I learn how to use uh, uh, this pen tablet basically up on the screen right now I have a uh, an image of uh, what it looks like and uh, this is the first thing we're going to discuss is this set of keys here um, basically I have this sitting flat on uh, here on my desk and uh, if I will go and I can hold my finger lightly on top of these buttons you can uh, without pushing one of them uh, you can see it will kind of a little overlay will pop up there and uh, so anyway uh, enough of that we're gonna need that here uh, what I just talked about here in a little bit okay so now we're in Sculptress and basically the way I have this set up is I just put my pen uh, here on my tablet and of course press it down and then I can move around uh, and that's nothing unusual usually I keep my with my current setup <coughs> pardon me I keep my hand on my keyboard and uh, also uh, with my with my pen up on my tablet okay but I also have a radial menu set up where if I want to hide all of uh, let's see here how do I hide that I use the tab key if I want to hide this interface uh, I have a radial menu that I also can use uh, for my brushes I don't have any other shortcuts set up really uh, other than that on my my pen and by the way to hide, hide uh, the interface here in Sculptress is, is the tab key and then uh, F1 hides and shows the uh, help menu here uh, basically I keep the interface open and I uh, just keep one hand on the keyboard keyboard and then uh, of course my pen up on the tablet okay uh, the graphic I showed you uh, at the first um, I'm gonna go ahead and hold my finger on it and I'm gonna go ahead and press settings uh, and it brings this up um, where you can configure your settings and we're just going to go in here and look at uh, my pen settings okay two you can see uh, sculptors listed here uh, if I had another application open right now I could just go in here and hit this plus button and uh, it shows anything uh, that's open in here and then I could highlight that and then say okay but uh, I don't want to do that right now okay so anyway uh, on the functions um, in the second little tool menu here um, I would if I wanted to set up some special functions there I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna choose Sculptress and functions and what I've done is I went ahead and set up uh, the space bar on this bottom button <coughs> uh, to to uh, well let me just show you I'm gonna put this down uh, the button um, you can see here is set to space which I can access the size 
and uh, my strength of my brush right there but usually like I said before I keep my hand on my keyboard and then uh, my pen and up on my tablet um, another thing that I have set up is um, where'd it go there we go okay um, for my pen I want to highlight that and make sure I have sculptors hi uh, highlighted um, the pen has let's see if our graphic has the uh, very good uh, yeah okay right here on the pen uh, that comes with this tablet. This is the Intuos 5 Small Touch. Uh, there are two buttons on there. There's there's uh, one right here. And there's another one right there. So, let's switch back to Just put this on the bottom here. Okay. All right. I have the uh, this top button set to Alt on my pen, and the bottom one to Shift. Um, let's talk about uh, using the Shift first. <clears throat> okay. Um, let's go ahead and draw on here. Let's turn off the clay so you can see this a little bit better. Kind of draw a couple of strokes in here. Um, okay, the shift key, of course, if you use it on your keyboard and then you drag your brush across it, activates smooth. Uh, but on my pen, I have that bottom button set to shift. So if I don't want to put my hand on my keyboard, I can just hold that bottom button and drag uh, my pen around to smooth okay the alt um, is same just like using it on the keyboard if I'm using alt or holding down alt while I'm dragging my pen <clears throat> of course it uh, does an intrusion or uh, a reverse sculpt you see how it goes out here if I want to, to go in I hold my alt key so that's what I have that top button set for on my pen is I can just hold that button and with my draw brush and create an intrusion instead of a stroke that goes out uh, let's see here. Also, I have, uh, what do I have? <clears throat> okay, on the, uh, using the Alt button, uh, here in the, on the tab, I can hold uh, that top button, which is the same as the Alt button, and I can just, uh, drag my pen around and, uh, it will pan around in the screen now if I'm panning around in the screen holding my alt and then I let go while I'm moving it it will zoom in and out okay that's the same I believe ZBrush is the same way if you uh, hold uh, I'm don't not sure about what if it's alt or what it is in ZBrush because uh, I do not have ZBrush at this time uh, anyway alt pan around and then while you're panning around if you let go of the alt key you can uh, zoom in and out <clears throat> but something also on uh, my tablet will spring back up 
the setting here I can go to uh, back to the let's see what is it touch and uh, under my gestures I guess you have some some options here um, a three finger tap on my keyboard right now of course I showed you that earlier is uh, brings up my radio menu and that can be customized um, let me just go into the settings and show you right quick where to do that at while we're talking about it go back into functions and then radio menu and uh, all that can be set up here I'm not going to go into that uh, in this video <clears throat> I really want to just get some basic stuff uh, set here uh, let's see let's go back to the touch uh, you can look through here and and see uh, I haven't really I don't use that a lot uh, then of course you have some standard gestures here I haven't really set anything <clears throat> up there it's pretty much set to default um, and one of those default options is is that I can use two fingers on uh, the surface of my tablet and zoom in and out of course, remember just a little bit ago I showed you that uh, <clears throat> that you could uh, use your alt um, to zoom in and out but if you don't want to have your hand on the keyboard that's how you can zoom in and out um, of course the two fingers zoom in and out three fingers tap on the surface to bring up your radio menu and then you can just go in basically uh, set that up any way you, you want um, I'm still kind of experimenting and and uh, learning to use my tablet and by the way if you do not have a tablet and you can can uh, save up basically like I had to do and uh, get yourself a tablet because for sculpting uh, it is unbelievable Our, the control is really great I don't know about other uh, brands of tablets but for me um, the Centuus 5 small seems to be great and uh, so basically uh, well as I go along and learn uh, more and more about using a pen and tablet and I can give you some some uh, really other helpful insight I will share it with you um, basically um, if you have any questions please ask I'll do the best I can uh, to answer uh, any questions uh, but just remember that uh, this this whole sculpting thing and uh, the the tablet situation is new to me now if you're a if you're a regular graphics tablet of some sort if you're a user <clears throat> uh, please feel free to uh, give me any suggestions or input uh, so I can improve my workflow and so I can pass it along to others basically that's about it um, so we'll see you in another video later have a great day